Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly set up your pipelines within Pipedrive. This pipeline has two common issues that I see all of the time with clients that I work with. The first issue is these outreach stages. This person is trying to use stages to manage what should be managed through activities. The second issue with this pipeline is these three stages here. No response, reconnect later, and one. These are stages that should actually be controlled through marking a deal as one or lost. And it's super common that people don't actually want to use those one and lost buttons. Um, and I'll show you why in this demo. So first, I want you to compare this pipeline to this pipeline. Would you believe that this pipeline actually has far more data in it than this pipeline? And frankly, I think it's easier to look at. So let me show you how you can use uh, this pipeline to manage your deals rather than this pipeline. So first, I want to address these outreach stages. So those stages can all be managed in a single stage, something like contacting. Um, and so what you can do is set up activity-based automation to automatically create activities for your sales reps to do an outreach one, an outreach two, an outreach three, so on and so forth, all within this stage. And I have other demo videos of how to set up those recurring activities. So I'll direct you to those in the notes below. Now let's talk about the final three stages. So one of the things I'll point out here is you can see in this pipeline, it says there's $200,000 worth of value and 25 deals. Whereas in this pipeline, you have less. So you'll say, Liz, how is there more data? Uh, there's less volume and less value in the second pipeline. Wrong. By default in pipeline, in pipe drive, excuse me, in your pipeline view, you are looking at all open deals. So if I change this and say, let's look at all open one and lost deals, you see all of a sudden my total number of deals goes to 25. This value uh, doesn't go up all the way because this is actually weighted value, but you can see here that matches the value we have in the other pipeline. And now you know what stage the deal was won or lost in. And you can also capture lost reasons, which allow you to do more granular follow-up after a deal is lost compared to if you're just throwing it into a, a given stage. So to really hammer home this point, I wanna look at this data in a list view rather than the pipeline view. So if we go to a list view here and I will do my four stage pipeline deals, and then here I will do my nine stage pipeline deals here. So we are now looking at exactly the same set of data, that's the columns here, for each of these two pipelines. But you can see in this pipeline, we don't have a one time, a lost time, or a lost reason because we were just using stages to capture that information. But in this pipeline, we actually have the one time, the lost time, the lost reason, and we also have the stage in which that deal was lost, which again, allows us to do more granular things down the road with that lost opportunity. So as one more example here, we have in our nine stage pipeline, this stage reconnect later, but we don't really know when uh, or when the deal entered this stage, anything like that. Whereas in this pipeline, we have a specific loss reason to revisit in six months and we capture the loss time. So if we want to actually follow up with those deals in six months, what we can do is create a filter exactly for that. So we'll do the deal lost reason is revisit in six months and the deal lost time is earlier than we can do six months ago. So if I save that here, now I've got these two deals so I can create new activities on those. I can reach out. Um, I could also do that via group email if I created this similar filter from our contacts page. But here's the key point. I'm gonna get these pipelines back up here again. Point one, you do not need to have different stages to represent different touch points. This should be done via activities, which can also be programmed via automations. Point two, do not have stages to capture a deal being lost or a deal being won. Use those won and lost buttons within the deal. These here 
because that's going to give you the most and best data about those opportunities and it's going to give you the best view and easiest kind of visibility for your team to get work done within Pipedrive.